Yo, what up, gems? So, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cyril Zuma. Um, I've got a bit of a busy few hours. So, I've got a radio interview and I've also got a photo shoot, a last minute photo shoot um, to do for, I think, a birthday, if I'm correct. So, I'm waiting for an Uber right now. Come ride with me. I'm gonna go to the radio, radio interview first, and then we'll go to the photo shoot. But I'll take you through the process, and you'll just ride with me throughout the day. But if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe and like, and please share um, to your friends. Come with me. Okay, so I've made it to the radio interview. We are at Trans Africa today. I am with Noah and somebody else. I am late. Unfortunately, I am late. Um, but it lo looks like they haven't started and they were laughing, so I'm all good. Um, I will see you guys in the room and we'll take it from there. Good afternoon. Good How are you guys doing? Good. Welcome. Good. We're sorry I'm late. No, no. no worries. No You're worries. an African. <laughs> it's she just what said I'm an African. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Fantastic. Mm. Hello, everyone. You are saying hi to my viewers that are on YouTube and I talk about photography. Uh, yes. Hello, my viewers on YouTube. Uh, plus two seven double one double four double seven one seven six at the lowdown underscore eight seven two. We have put up the poll. Yo, a very, very delayed Melanie Magic this week, but rightfully so. We've kept Let's him keep waiting for yeah, long yes. enough. Yeah, okay. but, no, 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 wait. He can wait. Because the president makes us wait every single Sunday. <laughs> 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 because Cyril makes us wait, he's going to make Cyril wait. <laughs> According to protocol observer. Let's get into our rose giving ceremony. This, this is Melanie Magic. The official rose giving ceremony. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I am amazing. I am amazing. Well, thank you for not keeping us waiting and sorry that we kept you waiting. No, it's okay. <laughs> Apparently, the president keeps you guys waiting. So, yeah. I'm glad I didn't keep you guys waiting. I'm not sure. Now, Usiril and Colis is one. Do you ever call him Colis, dude? I think I might just start doing that. Please do. <laughs> Zuma is the founder and creative director of Color Space. How difficult was it to start Color Space? Oh, very interesting. Um, I was told it was going to be difficult, but it actually wasn't as difficult as I thought, to be honest. Yeah. Reason being is because Color Space wasn't my first business that I had started. So yeah. back in 2010, I started like a modeling agency uh, while I was in Durban and then came back to Joburg and had a few things that I was also doing. And you were the main model. In your <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had to. I mean, I mean, back in the days, you know, I mean, I, I was a, I was a junior and uh, there were a lack of guys. So guys didn't really want to be topless in the club. And, yeah. And so I had to be one of the guys that's in the photo. So and those pictures are all over the internet. Yeah, right? I mean, I think they are least <laughs> back in the Latin America days. So I mean, yeah. it was, yeah. <laughs> so that's how, you know, that's how I started Color Space. Yeah. Um, it, you know, it wasn't my first business. Yeah. Um, in terms of just starting the business itself, it was difficult, yeah. but it just, you know, just thinking of the concept, it, it almost became a no-brainer for me because it was, a, it was something that was lacking. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what you didn't say in the previous interview here at Trans Africa Radio, not many people may not know about you, is that you have a diploma in sports coaching sciences from the ETA. Yes, I do. I mean, I'm a qualified sports coach. I'm also a qualified trainer. Um, I did do personal training from 2010. I was about to get into that. Like okay. You were a fitness <laughs> consultant. This guy's got a qualification in digital communication and media slash multimedia. 
Red Sharp compared to Jack of all trades, eh? I've been so, I've been so. Master of color space. <laughs> <laughs> I really love that one, yeah, I really love that one, yeah, Master of Color Spaces. Yeah, uh, tell me, do the creators who contribute to Color Space also profit from the sale of their work? Of course. Oh, nice. So, the whole point on how we based it in the beginning was there is a percentage, so if you look at an image, for argument's sake, it's a thousand rand on the platform. If yeah. you buy it for a thousand rand, the contributor is probably going to take about 45% and then we'll yes. keep the rest and do admin and do and yeah. pay whatever we need to pay. Yeah. But we, Color Space actually has the biggest percentage in terms of just any stuff for the platform that pays out to his contributor. So if you look at our competitors, mm-hmm. they'll pay you 0.5% every yes. 10 pictures or something. Abu Shatter stock. Abu Shatter stock. So they'll, <laughs> they'll, pay, you, they'll pay you like yeah, 0.5% or whatever that wow. photo is and we'll pay you 45% or up to 45%. You learned alongside the inimitable Queen of the Airwaves, KMG. Um, this is not common, but we are still within uh, our rose giving ceremony, and our rose goes to Usirel Zuma today. It does. Um, I think, excuse me, <laughs> ever so often the show goes west, but I think it's for a good purpose. Yeah. I want to ask you though, Cyril, um, do you think as a photographer at this moment you're getting the recognition you deserve? Shucks. Um, I still don't think I'm really where I'm, so I think I want to be. He's verified. <laughs> uh, I don't know, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I, don't, I think I'm okay where I'm at. I don't think I've put in enough work just as yet to get the, the, the recognition I deserve. I think the, re- the verification is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. And it verifies what I do and, and it says that what I do is legitimate. But I don't yeah. think in, in the photography space, just not there yet. I mean, this year I just discovered some, you know, older photographers that used yeah. to photograph during apartheid and like wow. the, some of the stories that were being told. I was yeah. just like, wow, actually, yeah. you know, there's people actually documenting beyond what we do for yeah. vanity and celebrity like. So, yeah. And, and when you had the uh, previous interview here, you spoke about how your mom left you with the album yes. of a war imagery that was captured by African photographers yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. And so, crazy. Yeah, so that's for, for me when I started looking at those people then I was like, yeah. Oh shucks, there's the relation and those guys are the guys that are somehow to me from my perspective are yeah. truly documented because every image yeah. just makes sense it's and, it ha- and it has a purpose and it tells mm. a story. Right now we just click because the click is available. Mm. Um, but yeah, I don't think I really um should be I don't know, should be praised as probably pe- some people do <laughs> as yet. Yeah. I also want to ask this. I mean, you've I mean, you've been all over the continent as well. Um, this is a bit of an unfair question, but what has been the most photogenic um, destination for you? Wow, <laughs> that's a tough one. <laughs> it, 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 is a, it, it is a very tough one, shucks, because I have to think back. But I'll tell you this: I think it's unfortunate that in Zanzibar I was still in the beginning of my photography career so I wasn't as, as advanced as I used to be but if I could go to Zanzibar again yeah. um, which is in Tanzania I would really really love um, to go back there awesome yeah. so um, we have got a fun sort of exercise to go through with you um, these questions are not based on color space but <laughs> they are based on us getting to know you a little bit better all right so um, I think we can start off with uh, one of your questions KMG <sighs> I seem to be asking tough questions. I'm, 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 I'm going a little bit lighter. Yeah. Um, I want to ask. This is interesting, though, because um, you just took some pictures of us outside, and those were amazing. Yeah. And I said, I wish I had friends who could take pictures of you yeah. like this, because I mean, it's always a war when you're taking pictures of friends. Yeah. Who takes pictures of the photographer? <laughs> <laughs> wow. In this instance, nobody. I mean, oh, it's sad. <laughs> We just spoke about this. Like, people will take a photo pointing down. Please give me a symmetry. Uh, yeah. If you ever take a photo of Sarah Zuma, please give me a symmetry because I will go down on one knee if I have to go down on one knee. Just to make sure there's symmetry and it looks good, the clouds are there. We're that boyfriend. <laughs> At the beach, lying on the sand. No, wait, wait. Waves are coming yeah. down. Yeah. You know, I was <laughs> It's just total, it's total for, that, for that one shot, because yeah. you know what? If you know me, and, and this is what I normally say to people even with their phones. Yeah. Yeah. If you can just get three really good photos, you won't have to go through the thousands to choose. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so that's just my strategy. I always wait. If somebody's like, take a photo yeah. with your phone, whatever, I wait until yeah. you're perfect. I'm like, are you okay? Yeah. Cool. And then I'm, and I'm also good. The conditions are good. Yeah. And I can press. Nice. Yeah. 
Okay, do you want us to take a music break and then we'll come back to Let's you? Let's do that. Yeah, I need mean, to catch our breath. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in conversation with uh, Cyril Zuma, founder and creative director of Color Space. A little bit more after this. If you've just joined us, we are in conversation with Cyril Zuma as he is the recipient of our Black Rose this afternoon. This, this is Better Than Magic. Better Than Magic. The official rose giving set. Not just the and we get to do some fun questions with Oseral Zuma now. We get to ask him questions he's never been asked before. This I can almost guarantee. I, you have loaded statements, eh? You have <laughs> come with loaded statements here. Yeah. I said almost guarantee. Yeah, you did, but it's also loaded. Almost guarantee. It's also loaded. Almost. Anyway. <laughs> you know, some people choose to hear what they want to hear that almost yeah. didn't come through. So you don't like hearing me Almost. Okay, are you going to start? I think you should start. Let's do it. It sounds tough already. Yeah. No, man, you'll do it's, fine. It's nice, it's fun. Okay. If yeah. there's a movie ne, that was done about your life, what genre would it be? And who do you think would be best to play you right now? It would definitely be an action movie. <laughs> I feel like life here, my feeling. No pain. <laughs> yeah, my feeling for real. Um, I don't know who would take my. my yo. Sylvester Stallone? No. Bostenza? <laughs> Bostenza? Uh, Van Damme? Van Damme? No. I think they actually move. I'm thinking of all the uh, action guys. I think this Elba maybe. I think Van Damme could be Jordan. Yes, that's a nice one. Yeah, so I'll probably choose him. I don't know. I think he can yeah. probably deliver it a bit better. Yeah, especially the modeling parts of your life. <laughs> <laughs> six hours and six yeah. packs and then you're closing half days. Yes. Yes. I mean, I won't talk about the Mary yeah. Harvey part, but you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So many movies. <laughs> um, if you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Okay. I've got the money. I remember, food. dude, I was at your place like a week ago. Yeah. And we were firing up steaks. But before we fired up steaks, I remember what you made. What was cutting the mula? <laughs> I was hungry, okay. But you have to show it now. It's like me and the, and, and the rest of Africa are just like. Okay, this dude eats porridge with three in Dumba Arma. He was eating porridge. I was hungry. Eating porridge. I just wanted something right yeah. there. They're like, like, what? I was <laughs> hungry. I was <laughs> like, and it was vanilla flavor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I should shout out to oh, wow. the food. has been holding me down. But my, my favorite meal, in truth, yeah. is by my grandmother. Yeah. I would definitely go for dumpling. Ooh. Mm. Um, Uchek, no, my double. Sofo. Uchek. Okay. Uchek. 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 Uh, there's Uchek, and then there's the bread, the and there's like. The way you cook it is also yeah, different. The way different. One is mushy, one there's is. There's also mushy. a difference in the ingredients. Yeah. Yeah. My yeast, the colors, the is the self raising flour. Yeah. And so. so I would definitely check uh, some potatoes on the side. <laughs> Um, I, my soul, I definitely need some beef or chicken stew. I'm not too sure which one yet. Yes. It sounds like Sunday lunch to me. Yes. <laughs> and then it definitely has to be some mayo involved. So I'm not going to be a as some coastal mayo and spaghetti mayo. Mm. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and even the mayo, sometimes I hate when I see it. Sometimes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know about the mayo and the bread. But, but, <laughs> But the Jekka sets up is nice. Yeah, the Jekka sets up and the and beef stew. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a classic, guys. If you ever just yeah. want to taste something, it looks like a beef stew. Uh, nice. Oh, my bad. I'm <laughs> sleeping today. Um, so, you're in, say you're independently wealthy man, and you don't have to work. What would you do with your time? A lot of time would be spent with family, that's for sure, and friends. Yeah. I'm an outdoor person, so I'd definitely be fishing. Skydiving, I definitely need to do. I just love being outdoors. Like I'm, yeah, I'm gonna be taking my drone out there. That's another thing. Mm -hmm. And inventory which I just got. Nice hiking. I'm definitely gonna be hiking. Yeah. I would also definitely be just giving back. I think finding ways to give back. And by giving back, I'm skilled in photography. And right now, I feel like I have a wealth of knowledge in the photography industry that I would love to give. So I'd probably start opening up schools and work on. And one other thing I need to do actually is work on my um, on my course. Mm -hmm. I've got a photography course that I need to finish up. So Sounds I'm like definitely going to work on it. Shucks. Maybe I should be wealthy and just you know, work on my course. <laughs> so you're going to sail around the world. 
What's the name of your boat? Hmm. I imagine you have infinite money and you decide to spend it outdoors. So then you go sailing around the world. What's the name of your boat? Nobukanya. Ooh, sounds like there's a story there. <laughs> um, there is some story, but it's just a beautiful name too. There is my grandmother's name, oh, nice. but the name Nobukanya just means to shine, to, yeah, to brighten yeah. up. And I think yeah. you know, in that, in that boat and to sailing away and full Kanya on the yeah, shine. Yeah, yeah. And and where photography is all about light. Yes, oh, yeah. the light is big. It seems like you have another uh, another name for a boat, and I should choose no. No, no, no. I've got my own name for my own boat. Okay. I'm sure, Kenji, if you had a boat, Please share. what would that name? I have no idea. What would you call yours? Uh, mine is obvious, guys. What? Ark. Okay. <laughs> this guy. This guy. You know what's <laughs> on? <laughs> <laughs> one. I don't know. I really don't know what I would call it. Um, yo, that's a tough one. Okay, think about it. Yeah. But, uh, mm. Let's carry it on. Um, Sarah, what book or movie um, that you've read recently would you recommend and why? Um, so the book I read, I'm reading now, which I'm almost finished with it, is Zero to One. Okay. And then I've also started The Founder's Dilemma. Um, but zero to one is really just so nice because it, it talks about not replicating something. It always talks about finding, even even if you want to copy something, if if, if if for lack of a better word, but find a way to get it to ground zero one where you are able to just work on it yourself better. So don't just take an idea and paste it. Mm. Uh, but yeah, it's basically working from zero to one and finding ways in such a clouded space mm. to find ideas and mine ideas and work on ideas. Mm. Then Founder's Dilemma is really like so boring, but it's interesting. <laughs> um, it's interesting only because it's just it talks about just the, the dilemmas founders go through and just the really important imp important and critical things you miss as somebody who starts a business with a friend or whoever. Mm -hmm. um, but it's so enlightening. Nice, nice. Um, you can have an unlimited supply of one thing for the rest of your life. What is it? <sighs> Love. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I want love around me. Yeah. Yeah. I want. I want to feel warm. I want to feel fuzzy. I mean, all the money is great. All the attention and whatever is great. But if I can have love, mm. I think mm. it'll be great. And my time really. I hope that's how you're feeling on this awesome Saturday. I hope you are in love as uh, DJ Zandi Maz and Nogwazi bring us to four minutes after the hour, two p.m. CAT. Wrapping up a uh, conversation with Cyril Zuma, founder, director, creative director of Color Space. Where to from here, my dude? I know we spoke about this question just off air. With you. Hey, these are always the questions you get asked at interviews. So, <laughs> where to from here? Shucks. Um, for me, really, I'm looking for, and I'm just going to shoot my shot right here, I'm looking for funders for Color Space. Oh, nice. Um, and anybody else who wants to join in specifically, mm. that can add value to the company. So right mm. now, uh, you know, we're looking to boost up our contributor numbers. Contributor numbers. And then I just appeal to the marketing industry. So yeah. we do have a few eyes on Color Space at the moment, mm. but really... My biggest focus is mm. color space at the moment. Yeah. And that course that I need yeah, to take yeah. out a photography course. I get so many questions, whether it's via Twitter or, or you know, WhatsApp, people mm. just saying, dude, please teach me how to do photography, what mm. camera should I buy and so forth. Mm. So those two things are really at the top of my list. Um, I'm hoping that I do finish off the project that I've been working on this whole year in KZN. So hopefully I finish that. But yeah, that's Is that the time lapse? No, so it's not a time lapse. So this is like musicians, guys, oh, like trying out okay. music or whatever. And I'm really just working on my documenting skills oh, nice. and videography skills. So uh, we're collaborating. Amazing stuff. Yeah, thank you. Man. Uh, you threw me off there because I had uh, another question for you based off of your answers. <laughs> <laughs> which, which, uh, which answer was it? Which it was the answer on uh, Where To From Here. And you said color space, um, funding, as well as... Um, the course, the photography the, course, uh, the the coordinate, um, the contributors. Yes, my bad. Um, what kind of photography uh, works for a platform like Color Space? Um, well, we first and foremost we're looking for pictures of black people or Afri okay. people that, or photos that uh, portray Afrocentric and by Afrocentric I mean black. Uh, yeah. So it doesn't have to be of it doesn't have to be people. In some mar things. marketing circles, it's called urban. Urban, yes. <laughs> Not, that's definitely not that word. 
because that's not the one. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but yeah, we look really looking for beautiful photos that yeah. showcase black people in so many beautiful ways. Yeah. I think we, uh, I'll always say this: we swim, we hike, mm. and we do all types of different things that mm. um, we don't see in the traditional media. And so, mm. therefore, any beautiful photos you have. Um, that portray African people or mm. Africa in general as a po- in, in a positive manner. Please yeah. put them on the website. Nice. Um, and just to be and just to be uh, clear on something else, there are a lot of eyes, and, and I'm talking companies that just whether we talking via emails, phone mm. calls, and so forth. Mm. They are looking for these photos. People mm-hmm. are literally begging mm. for these types of photos. And I know creatives, even anybody right now, yeah. listening with us, they've got a smartphone and they've got beautiful photos. Go outside. Yeah. Flip yeah. your phone and turn it to landscape mm. and start exploring your phone and taking beautiful photos and submitting them because they are being bought. And soon yeah. enough, we're looking at taking, you know, the average image to a thousand rand. That's yeah. just, the, you know, the, min- the minimum, mm. in fact, yeah. uh, that you can come in. So from there, you're probably like earning 750 rand per photo that you probably didn't even know what mm. was going to happen to it. And this can be sold to a million people. Mm. That's amazing. That is amazing. Um, any corporate bundles, corporate... Because uh, some someone who may be listening in at a corporate firm is thinking, "Yo, thousand bucks an image at the Sure. Uh, is there like a license fee where you know certain images uh, can be used by corporates and not cost that much? Yes, definitely. So we do have a subscription model, okay, and we're nice. looking to better it. Do give us mm. feedback. Uh, look, we are very much a young company, mm. run by like two of us um, mm. at the moment. So do hit us up. But there are subscriptions you can go to on www.colorspace.co.za. Mm. Just scroll all the way to the bottom. Yeah. Uh, there's it's written pricing, and yeah. under that pricing, you'll find our subscriptions, and you can pick which subscriptions you want. Nice. I think we start from a thousand rand, and then you probably get uh, I can't remember how many photos you get in there, but you get quite yeah. a few photos in there. Nice. So we start for, in fact, from just a normal blogger, somebody mm. just wanting images of normal things, mm. to the corporate. Amazing. Yeah. Um, and then lastly from me, do you ever turn away any pictures? Yes, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not to put the come on, fire on color space. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it definitely doesn't work like that, yeah. I think. You know, one of the things we're really careful about is mm. that we want to make sure that we portray the African story that we see. Mm. You know, I'm, I'm a black man and mm. I see these things on a daily basis. So if you're going to, number one, put porn, that's definitely not allowed in our platform. Forget it. Um, there's no people who do that. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. so many people who've done yeah. that, whether it's selfies oh, or themselves. Wow. Um, you know, I think just, you know, just what we talked about earlier on, if you just mm. take a photo in a symmetrical man mm. form, immediately it stands out. Yeah. Uh, other than it's much better. It's way much better other than just taking a normal photo the way that normal people do. So yeah, I mean, you know, we do grade our photos before they get accepted onto the platform. Oh, nice. Um so we don't not, not everything just gets on there. There's yeah, there's thousands of photos on there whether people didn't tag or yeah. didn't put um titles and so forth. But yeah, we do communicate to the contributors nice. if your photo is not accepted. I think this is my last tough question for the day. <laughs> I'm ready. Um, when it's all said and done, Cyril, what do you want to be remembered for? Shucks, I thought about this for at, at, at some point. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, shucks, this is a very difficult. Let me ask you that. What would you like to be remembered for? <laughs> Maybe I can bounce ideas off you. I mean, remember when you said it was better than answer question. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I, I, I sort of do have an answer to this. I think. I do want to be remembered as somebody who helped creators. Mm. Um, at the current moment in South Africa in general, I think the photography industry is great, but it's all based on likes and popularity mm. and so forth. Mm. And so for me, I want to be able to be the one that educates the, the, the normal human being to be able to say that photography can make money. Mm. I want to show you that photography can make money. Without the likes. Yeah, without the likes, without anything. And show mm. that you can make a living, buy a house, build a bu- whatever you want to do, sure. but you can do it through a creative business like this. Nice. Yeah. How do people find you, uh, get in touch with you, and the business as well? Uh, you can definitely get a hold of me on Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, as Cyril Zuma. So TikTok. No, uh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I tried TikTok. TikTok is so difficult. Oh, my goodness. It's not, but you it's not me. Okay, like, cool. I got you. Like, yeah, okay. we'll do something. No. Uh, <laughs> 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 is that like on TikTok? Yeah. 
normal color everywhere, you know. <laughs> I'm going to check you out. I'm probably going to like three posts, but my TikToks yeah. are good. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go check that out. <laughs> Me too, because I don't definitely want to see this. But you can also go to my YouTube. Uh, so I'm filming something now for YouTube, actually. Okay. YouTube is also very something very interesting. Yeah. And then for the business, you can also go Color Space on all the platforms that I've just mentioned. Yeah. Uh, mentioned Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. And then you can go to the website, yeah. www.colorspace.co.za. In conversation with our Melanin Magic, uh, Cyril Zuma, he's the Black Rose recipient today for founding and uh, essentially sustaining a business, a creative business in 2021. I never liked the lighting though. It's fine, we're good, just for the sake of it. And that's an iPhone, so it's a different universe. Yeah. So, yeah. the picture comes up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Firstly, you must dance a bit, too. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Shoot. I know I'm going to show one B, I don't know. I'll tell you this, but if you just tap on, like, her face, I think, is the focus point. The one. And then you auto light. Oh, wow. I that. So that was the interview at Trans Africa with MKG and Noah. That was flipping amazing, man. I am now going to rush off to the photo shoot, which is in Randburg. And I'll see you guys there in Randburg. I'm shooting a birthday, as I said. Um, the client is already there. I'm a bit late. Uh, not late, actually. We're supposed to shoot at 3, so I've got about 40 minutes to get there. All right, so I finally made it back to the studio. Um, I'm now here at the studio in Randburg. I'm going to take you guys on a two-second little tour just to show you what the studio has. The studio is based on 3 Ruiz Road, Randburg. I think it's an amazing studio. Gavin owns the studio. Check it out. It's got everything. I'm going to show you and what's inside here. So let's take a quick tour. Uh, my client is already here looking beautiful and ready to shoot. I will take you guys through and show you her too. She's looking too beautiful for you guys to see just yet. So just hold on. I'll take you through the house, then I will take you through the photo shoot. But come with me. So over here is basically where you have the entertainment area. And then you would come down these stairs over here. And you would enter into here. So this is the kitchen. You can come and organize the kitchen your own way. There's a kettle, two sinks, microwave, cupboard space, even a washing machine and a dishwasher. Um, so you can really have a stove. So you can really host your clients on in here. And then I'm going to take you through to the makeup room in the bathroom. So this is the makeup room. You basically put some lighting in here, some chairs, um, some hangers, lots of mirrors. Another mirror, so this is a very popular place. This is nice because the window also comes through there so you can quite you can see quite well and clearly. This is just a separate makeup room. And then you have a bathroom. Of course, it has a sink and shower and so forth. So your clients can definitely come in and do the same room. They won't need a, bar, a bedroom, but there is a bedroom in here. Nobody is there right now. And then we're going to go to the studio. So there's a waiting area. And then we finally have a studio with connected lights. Um, I think it would be really wonderful for anybody that wants to like shoot here for the first time and you don't have lights or anything like that. This place is amazing, man. Um, there's four lights already fitted for you on here that you can play around with. All you have to do is basically put in your trigger, which is one of these here, onto your computer and then onto your camera. Um, and you'll be sorted. I mean, this is pretty easy to do. Um, once you pop it on top of your camera, you sort it. But yeah, that's the, the studio. This is what the place looks like. 
it is on Three Horse Road in Randburg. Sorry for the lighting, it's a bit red in here. It is the studio, I've got some orange lighting. So excuse that. I am going to get started. I'm gonna show you guys the setup of, the, of what we're doing today, introduce you to the client, and let's take it from there. All right, so I'm done with the photo shoot now. Um, that was really great. It was Lerato. Um, it was for her birthday. I am now leaving the studio. It is a bit dark, but now I am now leaving the studio. And I don't know where my mask is actually. That's interesting. I wonder where my mask is. Do I have a mask? No, I don't have a mask. But yeah, it's been great. Please do give Gavin a shout out. This is his studio. Uh, Gavin Block Studios on if you check it out online that's what is called Gavin Block Studios really amazing studio really amazing guy um, but yeah thank you guys for coming with me thank you for spending this amazing day with me um, just capturing amazing content I am now off home to go and edit stuff from today but it's been great it's been amazing um just a quick recap so we went to the radio interview with noah and mkg and then we came to the studio here in randberg where i shot with uh, lerato for her birthday so thank you guys for spending the day with me it's really been amazing um, please don't forget to like share and subscribe on this channel see you on the next video goodbye